Hey guys, uh, so got a little console project tonight. Uh, I haven't done one of these before, uh, but it's going to be on my favorite system all the time, the Dreamcast. So uh, the Dreamcast has a problem where after so many years, uh, the rechargeable battery in it stops holding a charge. Uh, no matter what you do, uh, you can leave the console on forever. It will not hold a charge. So pretty much if you lose power to it, uh, you lose all your settings and it, you know, I, I think the, uh, the default date is like 1998 or something. So it takes forever to get up to 2017 or, you know, whatever, 2020, uh, because the Dreamcast is the greatest system of all time and it'll last till forever. Um, anyways, so the Dreamcast has a pro battery problem and it's an easy fix, super easy to do. So I kind of wanted to go over that with you guys tonight and to show you how you fix the Dreamcast battery problem. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys. So to do your Dreamcast battery repair, uh, you need a few things. You need your Dreamcast, number one. Uh, number two, you need a battery holder like this. And... Uh, you can get a little idea here. It's got three prongs on it, and uh, it will fit a uh, CR2032 battery. Now, I I'm just using the CR2032 focus uh, as a, an example. This is the same battery that's in everything. It's in your, your Dreamcast controllers. It's in, you know, uh, everything. You just buy yourself a pile of them. Uh, and, and hold on, hold on to them. Uh, but the 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 battery that you want to get is an ML twenty thirty two. Now, that's a rechargeable battery uh, that normally, uh, you know, it's basically the same thing that's in here. The the ML twenty thirty two, the CR twenty thirty two. Don't use it in your Dreamcast because the Dreamcast has a charging circuit to charge the ML2032 battery that we're gonna put in here. I just don't have the ML2032s yet. Um, so anyways, uh, these battery holders, they're really easy to find. Look for the ones that have the three prongs like this. There you go, you can see them there. Uh, look for those, you can get them on eBay. I, I got a pot, I mean, I got a bag of them here. And I wanna say it was like 15, 10, 15 bucks for a bag of them, because I have like, Three or four Dreamcasts. Dreamcasts really is the greatest console of all time. So you'll need battery holder, battery, solder, solder sucker of some sort. You don't need one like this. This is overkill, but I have it, so I'm going to use it. It's, you know, this is a, a Hacko uh, FR300 uh, uh, solder vacuum. It's a great tool, but if you're not going to be soldering a lot, you don't need anything like that. And then a soldering iron, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Uh, that's what you need. And then, of course, some screwdrivers uh, of various sizes. So, first thing you're going to do is go on the bottom of your Dreamcast here, take off your modem. Okay? Just take that off, throw it over to the side. Dreamcast is going to have uh, four screw holes. One underneath where the modem was, one in that corner, one in that corner, and one in that corner, okay? Take the screws out of all those. Uh, one thing you want to note, if, like, if you're using a screwdriver like this that's like a multi-tap screwdriver, you, you're not going to be able to fit into some of the wells there. They're too deep. So, you know, get yourself an actual screwdriver to stick in there. Uh, so you can actually get at the screws. Uh, and as you can see, there's some discoloration on my Dreamcast here. Uh, this happens to Dreamcast over time. Sometimes it's UV. Uh, it's also the plastic. Uh, Super Nintendo's did the same thing. Same type of plastic. Uh, it's just a, like a flame retardant that's in the plastic that causes the discoloration. There's a way to fix that. I'll be doing a video on that in the future. Because uh, I need to... That drives me insane. Uh, so once you've got uh, your four screws out, you're going to pop... Your Dreamcast cover open. Now your Dreamcast is exposed. You're you're dealing with the the good stuff. One thing to note: if you have a Dreamcast that's reset, this this Dreamcast, uh, I've, I've 
had problems with in the past. And one of the fixes uh, there is for this is you see uh, this these little sec these little uh, pins right here. Uh, those get dirty. And those are your power pins. That's this is your power board here. This is where actually your power plugs in. So these get dirty. So what you want to do is uh, pull this board up. And there's a little fastener here. Um, and you just pop the whole board up. And clean these pins off with like uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, isopropanol. Clean them up really well. And then kind of bend, you'll, you'll see it in here, kind of bend the pins back on the actual board. Not the pins on the, you know, that are sticking out. Bend those pins a little bit towards so they make a better connection. And that'll, you know, if your Dreamcast is resetting a lot, that's, that's a fix for you. So what we want to do is we want to get to that battery right there. We want to take that off of there. Okay. And how we do that is uh, there's a little connector here right there okay we're gonna pop that off and that's kind of a tough tough one to get to and it's kind of fragile so you just kind of got to get in between it get it between that and the fan and kind of wedge it out you don't want to you know push it side to side because it's real fragile okay and then once we have that off we're going to unscrew these four screws here and this whole board is going to pop right off and i mean as far as repairs go this is a real easy one to do oh uh pull your ribbon off there's a little ribbon here See that ribbon cable? Pull that off. Pull it straight up. You know, just be kind of gentle and pull it straight up. Give it a little bit of force and it'll come out. Okay. And then these screws are holding me back here. Which one is? Come on. There we go. Come on. Okay. There we go. Take your Dreamcast, set it off to the side. Okay. Let your screws fall out. Don't lose those. Put them somewhere safe. Okay. Now, now we've got our little battery here. We go to the under, underside. Okay. See these three pins here? That's what we're going to desolder. So we'll take our desoldering iron. If you've only got like a solder pull it, that'll work fine. Real inexpensive. You can get them for like 15 bucks on Amazon. There we go. That one's trash. Okay. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to take our new little battery holder. We're going to push it right on. Okay. And you'll see your new pins there coming through. All right, we're going to solder those on. And we don't need, you know, we could probably do this with the solder pullet. I'm not going to do it with it because I've got a good soldering iron that heats up in about 30 seconds. So my soldering iron tells me the temperature it's at too. Gonna take a little bit of soldering iron or a little bit of solder here and push that down securely. Okay, you guys in frame yet? Here, let's zoom it in a little bit here. Okay, here's our three pins. I'm just gonna heat the pin up and get a little bit of solder on there. I'll need a ton. Okay. Perfect. 
And now that we got that in there, that'll kind of hold it down. There you go. So we've got that one pin there. Oof, almost burnt my work cord there. Okay. Pull you back a little bit. Okay. There we go. Now that's kind of blobby. So I'm going to clean up my, my soldering points here. Those actually look pretty good there. That one's got a little bit too much. There we go. Okay. There you can see, put our new solder in, flip it over, there's our battery. So your positive is going to match up. You know, your positive is going to be on this side. Okay. Your negative is going to be on this side. Your battery holder should match up with it. If you got the right one. If you didn't, better make sure you put your battery in right. Okay, so then you just take your battery, pop it in. Now you've got a Dreamcast that's going to save your settings. Super easy. Super easy repair. You can get these singly if you've only got one Dreamcast. You can get the little battery holders on eBay. I think one was like two bucks and shipping was like a buck. So three bucks. If you got a soldering iron um, and something to pull solder with, this repair is just about as easy as it gets. Um, the ML 2032s, I, I did see some single lot on Amazon for like um, 10 bucks shipped, I think, for the ML 2032, which is the uh, rechargeable battery. So, you know, it's not an expensive repair, super cheap repair to do. Um, and, you know, while you're in here doing that, like I said before, clean those points, those power points. If, if you clean these and you still have problems with your Dreamcast resetting, um, you know, powering uh, up and then shutting off. You, you've probably got a bad power supply. You can get a new power supply. I, I don't know, you know, depending on where you are, I, I don't know how cost effective that is for you to get a new power supply, if it's worth it over getting just a brand new Dreamcast. But don't throw your Dreamcast away. Somebody will want it in the future because it is the greatest system ever created. Um, Dreamcast had so many great games for it. Fighting games, uh, I mean, Street Fighter Alpha 3, a fantastic version of it. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, of course, uh, before, long before it, it, a decent version was on PS2 or, or even, uh, you know, the Xbox. I think it, I don't, it never came out for the original Xbox. It came out for the 360 with online play. Um, but, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2... I mean, the definitive version. And the, the PS2 version was slimmed down, too. They had to cut it back. The Dreamcast version was the best version until I think the Xbox 360 version came out. Um, recycle your old battery. Don't just throw that away. Make sure you're all connected up here. Take your battery. Make sure you put it in the right way when you install it. Bam. Done. That's your repair. Stick your cover back on. Put your screws back in. One, two, three, four. Screw up. Put your modem on. You're done. Your Dreamcast will now save. If you guys got any questions, comments, you know, throw them in the uh, comments of the video. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. The shortest video I've ever made. Greatest system ever, Dreamcast.